Okay, guys. So, here I have the Samsung Galaxy A5. It's the 2017 version. Now, there's also a 2016 version that was released last year, and it's different to this, so don't get confused between the two of them. Here are the specs. Some of the specs. It's got a 16 megapixel camera, fingerprint, 32 GB. Yep. Yeah. So these are the specs. Let's open it up. Uh, yes, there we go. Wow. It looks, I have to say, that it looks exactly like the S7. I don't think anyone can tell the difference between this and the S7. I actually did a review of the S7 in one of my previous videos a couple of months ago, so check that out. And you will see that it's exactly like the S7. It really, oh gosh, I can't take it out. Hang on a minute, I might have to put the camera down. There, I'm taking it out. Camera is the main difference, much smaller than S7. Okay, so I've managed to... Ooh, wow, look at that. That was scary. Anyway, uh, you can't see it very well on camera. I need to peel this thing off. I d Hang on a minute, where is the screen protector? Let me peel off the screen protector so now you can see a bit more clearly there. Yeah. Now you can see it a bit more clearly. I've taken off the screen protector and everything. And the resolution is really good, guys. It's just like the S7. Not much different to the S7 in terms of the way it looks, the color. Very bright. Very impressive. Uh, do a bit of a... screen and security about phone what Android version has it got seven point oh okay most of I'm actually surprised because I heard that most of the A five devices come with six point oh installed but it's already got no gut here I wonder if you can update it to Oreo, I'm not sure. I wish we could do that. But yeah, it's uh, got a 3000 mAh battery. Look at that, it shows you that it's got a 3000 mAh battery, which is very good for this screen size of the phone. And here is your fingerprint scanner. Let's set up the fingerprint. Okay, so I also wanted to show you what it looks like on the side. It's not too thick. I've seen slimmer devices of today. This is the SIM card tray, I believe. There's a dual SIM version available, but I think mine's just a single SIM. Uh, what is that? The speaker and the power button there. And if you look here... Yeah, I think that's actually the SD card slot, if I'm not mistaken. So in terms of appearance, it looks exactly like the S7, guys. It's pretty identical in design to the S7. Except there's a few minor differences that you will notice if you look very carefully. So, yeah, I mean, this the features of this phone is really good as well, I heard. And it costs half the price of the flagship. And yet it's almost as good as the flagship. Usually when you've got a phone that's not the flagship, it compromises in some ways. But here, the compromising is not too much. So, Camera. Now, these are terrible examples of the camera, obviously. I should have taken... I should have gone outside and taken a picture of the trees or the clouds or something that would have been nice but 
I'm filming this video at night time, so I couldn't do that, so I just, I don't know, I just got a tiny room, so I just, yeah, just filmed this, and <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> I mean, the pictures, I will tell you this, this phone doesn't have what you call the OIS, it doesn't have the OIS, which is a big letdown, but it can still take quite good photographs. It's 13 megapixels and it takes quite good photographs, guys. So it, I just, I don't know, it just, um, the quality is not bad. Really isn't compared to some cameras. Even my Z3 had a 20 megapixel camera, but the lighting wasn't very good. So at least this is better than that. Anyway, that's my review of this phone and basically it's a really good phone to consider in 2017 in um, if you don't want to pay for like a flagship which costs 600 pounds or 500 pounds there's a much cheaper alternative which can do pretty much everything that you need a phone to do in this day and age so yeah 